it's very important to understand that our research on milk fat depression here at UCD is it's in its infancy. I think we began this project uh, in 2016 and um, we very much view this research as, as trying to help Irish farmers understand more um, about this problem. You know, we think based on um, ICBF's records uh, from 2004 to 2014, approximately 10% of dairy herds in the country um, will have milk fat below 3.3 in the period April, May and June. Um, but probably more significantly, uh, we found that approximately 40% of herds in the country had a milk fat below 3.6 in this period, April, May and June. And again, you know, I would emphasise that these are Irish dairy cows. Uh, the data is based on millions of records um, from the Irish uh, Cattle Breeding Federation. Uh, and we certainly think that this um, high proportion of herds uh, with a bulk tank for fat below 3.6, that that costs uh, farmers and processors a significant significant amount of money. So overcoming milk fat depression um, is a holistic approach. There's many areas farmers could work on to improve their milk fat percentage. Um, one of these may be the, to avoid grass that's high in oil. This is this could be done by um, go by avoiding paddocks that are um, of very low covers of under 1,200. Maybe go into paddocks with higher covers. Other approaches may be to consider following the cows with fertilizer as opposed to blanket spreading fertilizer as high nitrogen grass is high in oil. Um, if you're feeding a lot of concentrates, avoid concentrates with high inclusions of maize distillers as these are high in oil. Also avoid wheat as it drops room and pH significantly um, and you could consider using con concentrates with higher inclusions of one molasse beet pulp and soya hulls as these will help stabilise room and pH. Um, use of mineral buffers have been proven to reduce durations of lower room and pH and increase fat yield in grazing cows. Also feeding a partial TMR or buffer feeding may help increase fat yield. Cow genetics is also very important. Farmers should focus on looking at bulls with um, higher fat PTA and higher fat kilos. We have uh, research here done at Lions Farm on one particular type of yeast. Um, in that particular research, 50% of the cows were fed TMR and 50% were grazing. And what we found was that the uh, yeast uh, did uh, provide a good improvement uh, in rumen pH. Uh, in that piece of research, it didn't uh, significantly improve milk fat percent or milk fat yield. But there were other benefits. For example, um, fat mobilisation was lower in the group uh, that were supplemented with yeast. Um, with regard to mineral buffers, um, again we have some research uh, with grazing cows and the use of specific mineral buffers and um, what we found with the mineral buffers was again we got a, a good improvement in rumen pH, um, a shorter duration during the day where you had uh, low rumen pH and we had an increase in milk solids output. Uh, I think it was 90 grams a day with most of that being an improvement in fat output.